Inside ICSD with Dr. Brown, a show that takes a look inside Ithaca City School District. I'm Lou Bell Brown, Superintendent of Schools, and I'm here with my co-host, Parker Hubble. And Parker and I have enjoyed bringing in some outstanding folks to learn more and more about what's happening in our school district. And today we have a special person, a person, a person I speak with probably daily, uh, Jim Ellis, the Director of Transportation. And I just want to start, I don't think folks realize that we transport thousands of young people every day, over thousands of miles. And it's tough work. And it's a pretty significant, important operation. And what I've learned is every day we get our young people home safely is a good day. Whether it's bright and sunny outside, 80 plus degrees, or oftentimes when the weather conditions aren't so good. And as superintendent, uh, my temperament and my belief systems don't allow me to stress much, and that's been a good thing. I can think of three times when I've stressed, and I've had that knot in my stomach, Parker. One was when my uh, son was bleeding in the ER, and I was worried about whether or not he was going to get stitches. And the other two have happened over the last two years. Uh, Jim and I probably talk, have talked dozens of times about whether or not we open school or not, based on weather and road conditions. Each one of those decisions is informed by much research data and talking to other folks, and we're going to talk about that. On two occasions, the, weather's, the weather conditions changed um, unexpectedly, which created some rather treacherous road conditions and driving conditions. And those were tough days for me as superintendent. We always think about safety. We're always worried about safety. Um, but on, th on those days when things shift, and I wish I was an expert weatherman, I would probably be at this desk doing the weather for somebody else and making a lot of money you know, on TV every day. But that isn't the case. Um, we do our best. And, but I just want you to know those, those two times when we um, have made the call and things shifted were tough. Fortunately for Jim, we have Jim and we have some outstanding drivers in place. And we have uh, a, a, an understanding community when we make those calls and we have young people on the roads and our drivers uh, handling these tough conditions. People understand that they're tough times and they work with us to make sure things go well. But I wanted to say that, and you were going to come on the show anyway. And it's just it's so great that you're here today um, in the midst of a very cold <laughs> and unpredictable winter. <laughs> thanks for coming. And I'm sure Parker and some students yeah, have some questions yeah, for I you also. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for coming out today. It's really yeah. awesome that you're here. You, and do you ride one of our buses, Parker? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, great. Every, every morning. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to kind of ask, uh, what do you do for your job and kind of what is your role in helping out with the school? Well, I oversee a really great group of people. Uh, you know, as, as Dr. Brown said, we have an exceptional um, staff of bus drivers and bus attendants. They are so safety conscious. They're so meticulous. When the roads are not perfect, they're at their very, very best. And I'm just so proud of the job they've done this winter. We have had some slippery roads. That's part of being in upstate New York. It just is. It's unavoidable. And uh, that's, that's what we're paying them for. And they really, I, I tell them, if you get to school, if you get to school a little late, that's not the end of the world. We just get there safely. That's all we care about, and they take that real seriously. So, uh, I, basically, I, you know, I, I, I have the honor of working for Ithaca and working with our staff there, and try and keep the, try and keep the bus garage running to, mm -hmm. to the best we can. Mm -hmm. It's a great job. Love it. Mm -hmm. I like to say, Parker, that more happens with the bus garage before 4:30 a.m. <laughs> than most people <laughs> see happening in their businesses all day. Um, Jim, you want to talk about the process you and I go through, yep. uh, particularly in, in the months, maybe December through March <laughs> here in Ithaca. What do we go through each morning getting prepared for school? Well, it's, and it's true what you said. I mean, you and I talk, you know, a lot about these issues, uh, often the evening before when mm -hmm. we see something coming and uh, go through the different procedures. That I do a lot of uh, uh, work with the National Weather Service. That's kind of my go-to source for I feel they're the most credible single source for you know predictions they're wrong sometimes everybody's wrong sometimes but we call them the night before we call them early in the morning usually around four o'clock I start calling them and just saying I'm looking at your guys website right now I want you to walk me through exactly what you're seeing for the upper elevations in mm -hmm. Tompkins County where we have buses out you know all all corners of, of our district and and they can really sometimes uh, nuance some of the things that we're seeing just on their website so mm -hmm. it helps us to make yeah. an informed recommendation to Dr. Brown uh, I talk with, as I, as I think you said as well, I talk with uh, uh, Tompkins County DOT, mm -hmm. uh, Tompkins County 911 Center, you know, what are the state of the, this is the morning, this mm -hmm. is in the morning, just to kind of see what's really happening in the real world. And then we go out and run the, the mm -hmm. roads, 
if there's any question, we go out and run the road. Often myself or one of my and or one of my mechanics will go out Harvey Hill, Buffalo Hill, places that are famous for being, mm-hmm. you know, dicey, and just get a feel of it. And then you and I, we always uh, at the at at the latest, we're talking at 5:30 yeah. in the morning. That's kind of our, our protocol. And I make my recommendation to Dr. Brown, and I've made some ones. I if I had them to do over, I would I would I would have done it differently. Yeah. But you know, it's it, it, I appreciate you saying it. They're not an easy decision. We're in an area where there's just a lot of mm-hmm. unfortunate weather. One thing I've learned in since I've been here a couple of years is the variation between the weather and the outlying areas and Ithaca City per se is so significant. So, you know, we understand we want to know what's going to go on in the higher elevations there before we make our decisions. Yeah, and it's important for folks to know um, we're also a hundred plus million dollar business. Um, oftentimes I receive calls from folks whether or not we close or keep schools open about their belief system about if we should have kept schools open or if we should have closed. But I also get folks each time who speak to us as if we were a business. Um, and they're upset, you know, the mall didn't close today. Cornell University didn't close today. Or, you know, Dunkin' Donuts didn't close today. How dare you close down a place that I'm actually contributing funds for on a day when you, you sh- probably shouldn't have. So there's so many different agendas, so many things for us to think about when we're operating uh, o- an organization with over a thousand plus employees, over 6,000 plus customers walking through the doors each day, and then the folks who are customers as well as far as stakeholders and parents and community members. So much to think about, and as Jim said, most times before 5.30 a.m. Oh yeah. in, in the morning. But just tough. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Other questions? Uh, I just kind of w- wondered, uh, being for me, it's, it's actually kind of hard to get up at 8 o'clock. So <laughs> how do you get up in the morning? Yeah. Well, I mean, like many of my transportation buddies, we just become morning people. I mean, I'm up at you know, very early on the weekends as well. It's just my yeah. cl- my clock now. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm not a partier after eight o'clock. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, no, we have we have mechanics that are in the office uh, in the in the in the shop at three thirty in the morning. And the, like this morning was very cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, uh, thir- <laughs> Thursday, and uh, uh, they're starting all the buses at four o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. So make sure that everything's running getting them up to run in temperature, you know, so we're just, er- we're early people. Yeah. And, and I will add, Parker, um, for all those folks who want to be superintendent out there, superintendents don't sleep. <laughs> 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 On most of these days, uh, we're in a board meeting until 9.30, 10 o'clock. I'm answering 100 plus emails until about midnight, um, then thinking about the next day until 2 in the morning. And then here comes that call from Jim about 4, 4.30. So <laughs> just for you folks who are looking to be a school administrator, it's good work, rewarding work, but uh, don't plan on getting a lot of sleep. And with that, uh, I want to thank you, Jim, for joining us. Um, My pleasure. As always, it's fun to have some of the brains of the organization on with Park and I to learn more about what's happening in our school district. And thank you all for tuning in yet again. Please send us your suggestions. Uh, tweet to us using the hashtag InsightICSD. I'm looking forward to uh, speaking with you again. Thank you.